So first we have to imagine um, a man that is so powerful that not even chains and shackles can contain him, that he's ripping the chains apart, right? That he's breaking and crushing the shackles um, and that he, he's living in a cemetery, right? Uh, just this horrible, unfortunate, um, nasty situation. And clearly there's something wrong with him. He's possessed. And Jesus asks, what is your name? And the demon answers, we are legion. There are many of us, the demons, right? There are multiple demons in this person. And I think um, probably in our own uh, modern lives, uh, if we look at all the problems, if we look at all the um, uh, just brokenness of the world, um, surely legion has something to do with it. Surely there are many demons uh, at work that are, uh, are working to uh, thwart the efforts of our Lord to um, prevent us from growing in holiness, to keep us from doing the will of God. Um, but yet we recognize that Christ can free us from that. Christ can free us from the, um, the, the, the lures of the devil. He can free us from the uh, attachment to sin. But most importantly, he can heal us. He can heal us. And then from that, we can go out and we can proclaim the gospel. So this uh, guy that's possessed by all these demons and living in the cemetery, um, they're up in the north of Israel, which is not really a Jewish, re Jewish region. Um, so you've got the swine herd there. Um, and the 2,000 swine pigs, which of course are unclean, right? They're not kosher. Um, so it shows that this is not really a Jewish area. Um, but then that Jesus casts uh, the demons into that which is unclean. Casts the demons into that which um, will defile the body. And they run headlong into the sea. Uh, they uh, show us that that which is unclean will not enter into the kingdom of God. And so Jesus tells this man after he wants to stay with him, he says, now go and tell your family what happened. And so he goes into the Decapolis, he goes into the pagan region um, uh, of the non-Jews, and he proclaims what has happened to him, and all were amazed. All were amazed. When we hear of the works of Christ, are we amazed? When we recognize the works of Christ in our own life, are we amazed? Do we desire to share them with others? Do we, do we desire to say, hey, I was at one point bound in chains and shackles and I was smashing them and I was hitting myself with rocks, but this guy Jesus healed me. He restored me. He brought me back to life. Are we amazed by that? Every time we go to confession, we're given our life back. We're given uh, newness of life. We no longer have to hit ourselves with stones. We're no longer shackled. And so when we go to confession, are we amazed at what Jesus has done for us? Do we even go to confession? I go to Mass every day, so I don't need to go to confession. Ma Daily Mass is good enough, right? Mm -hmm. So we recognize that in this man, this possessed man, this man that was uh, claimed by many demons, Jesus has the power to heal him. He has the power to restore the dignity to him. He has the power to restore his soul. He has the power to save him. In our own lives, do we recognize that <clears throat> as well? Do we recognize that Jesus has the power to save us? And are we amazed?